Okay, so this is going to be part two of the bridge design, all right, and within uh, the 3D rendering of your bridge. So with this particular uh, segment, what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the cross beams that tie the two trusses together. And I suggest you have 12 to 14 to 16 of these. The more supports, the more horizontal supports you have tying the two trusses together, the stronger the overall bridge is going to be and the more weight you're going to be able to hold. The only downside is you're going to add a little bit more weight by having more, but if you have that material, it's pretty much a good investment to put the more supports in there uh, so it is uh, strong and ties those two sides together. Alright, so hopefully you have the, uh, the first side completed by now. And what you're going to do is you open up Inventor and you, uh, and you should have within your browser, if you take a look at your browser, which is on the left-hand side here, uh, you're going to have uh, ext Extrusion 1 tied to Sketch 1. All right, so you should only have one sketch at this point uh, of the project. Okay, and then the extrusion is where we made the eighth inch uh, extrusion. Um, we extruded it out an eighth of an inch. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to create a new 2D sketch and you're going to put that on the face. So right here where it's highlighted red. All right, it should take me to my front view in the view cube. And this is where you kind of have to have an idea of where you want to put these supports. The only area that you can't put these supports uh, that you, uh, it's, just, it's not going to work for the bridge is right through the center area. Okay, because uh, basically how we're going to test these is we're going to put a load platform through the center and if that rod comes in contact with any uh, anything, for example, a support that's going through it, it's it's not going to be good. Okay, so you're going to have to break that out or something later on. So just avoid putting any supports through here. So that's what uh, I recommend that you do. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to click the rectangle tool, and some of these areas that I want to put uh, the supports. I'm going to put a support down here. All right. All four corners basically should get a support. Uh, near the corners at least so I'm just gonna type in one eighth of an inch and then tab over one eighth of an inch right to have a one eighth inch square and that's again the materials uh, thickness that we're that we're working with all right and these supports what I like to do is I like to put one at basically every um, support that I have on that truss I'm just putting them under these vertical supports here. Now this is just my preference. Again, you could space them how you want. Again, I'm avoiding the center. And I'm just going this fairly quickly because I'm seeing that it is 0.125 and 0.125 um, which is an eighth of an inch. here. Alright, I'm going to go through and put some more supports on and then I'll get back to the video and show you the next step. Okay, so I'm done putting all these supports in. I have 16 supports, alright, so I have uh, 8 on the bottom and then 8 on the top. Uh, again, the more the merrier. Uh, I could put a couple uh, additional ones in there if I wanted to, but I think for my design, 16 should be fine. So the next step is once you have all those small squares, eighth inch by eighth inch, all across the bridge, and again, this is in sketch two. Okay, if you see over on your browser, you're going to finish the sketch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude these and give them some thickness. Okay, so the bridge itself, the, the requirement is that the width is three inches. Okay, now it doesn't make that doesn't mean I'm going to uh, take these and extrude these out three inches because we have to take in consideration the thickness of this truss and then the thickness of the opposing truss on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do, knowing that this is an eighth inch and the other side is an eighth inch, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, make the extrusion here at 2.75. All right, so I'm going to click on extrude. And I'm going to type in 2.75 now I'm gonna select all these supports now this is where it gets a little tricky because if you select something that's not one of the uh, squares that you want to be your support you're gonna have to read you have to cancel and redo it um, not draw all the the squares in but re-extrude it 
So just take your time. I'm zooming in and out as I do this just to make sure I have the exact spot that I want highlighted. Okay, and I'm going to select OK here. And now you can really see how this is coming together. All right, part three uh, video. Part three video will be basically the taking this first truss and copying it into a, a new sketch. And it will be sketch three then um, if you're going chronologically through this and you didn't mess up at all. It will be your third sketch. And uh, that will be the third part of the series then. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, just review another, uh, go back to the video and review a section. Ask a classmate uh, who's already might have uh, been through this, this part. Or, again, ask your instructor all right, to help you through if you're having difficulty with extruding any of these segments and things. All right, good luck.